Hola, me llamo Duke. Yo soy of the bump. Uh, welcome to the chat room, CPC Gamer, Agent Rainer 96, Asian Mike Pone, Darian Mask, Galen Rayleigh, Kostya, New New, Private Steve, Roblox is two, and you want Bond. Am I playing the Binding of Isaac? Indeed I am. Uh, as you can hopefully see on your screen by this point. Uh, let me sync up the chat room. The fucking shit. Uh, before I start, I have a special announcement and uh, and a thanks to give out. Uh, a couple f couple hours before I started screaming, a guy messaged me on Steam. I just added him to my friends list a couple days ago. Well, he added me, and you know I reciprocated. And uh, I've never talked to him before, or you know I didn't really have any idea who he was. I just figured he found me through the str through the stream, and you know because that's where most people on, on my Steam friends list come from uh welcome to the chat room just drop and uh he asked me um he wanted to show his appreciation for the stream and he asked if it, if it would be okay if he bought something off my wish list for me and i said well you know none of that is really necessary or anything you know you don't have to pay me or anything like that i enjoy the stream watching it is thanks enough and uh he said you know well, you know, I've just been watching your videos for years, and, you know, you provided me a lot of entertainment, and I just want to, you know, show my thanks. So, uh, I said, sure, uh, you know, if you want to get me something on my wish list, I'm not going to complain. So, uh, he asked me, uh, he said, um... What is the name of that game? Anyway, there was a game that I wanted that was on my wish list, and he said, It's the same price if I get it in this indie bundle. Is it okay if I just get that instead of just buying this game? Lone Survivor, that's it. And I said, Sure, you know, that's cool. And I thought, Oh, cool, he's going to get me uh, the indie bundle in Lone Survivor. That's going to be awesome. But uh, these messages kept popping up in Steam. You know, you have a new gift, you have a new gift, and so on and so on. And I said, uh, Dude, I think you accidentally, you know, checked more boxes than you intended to or something because there's like a shitload of games here and uh he did it on purpose this awesome crazy person bought me every single game on my steam steam wish list all of them so uh adam is his name so i'm not sure if you're watching uh like i said i've never seen him in the in the stream chat room or anything this was the first time i ever talked to him but uh thank you so much it is so awesome of you to do that and uh, many of the games are streamable so uh, expect to see a bunch of weird games pop up in the stream eventually because that's the that's the deal you buy me a game and I will eventually stream uh, just drop Jack Burton and Goham welcome to the stream never heard crazy used as a compliment before well it's a pretty crazy thing for him to do. <laughs> it's weird though. I'm looking through the list of games that I got, and Lone Survivor actually isn't on there, which is why I was having trouble coming up with the uh, coming up with the name. You know, I mean, not that I'm fucking complaining that I didn't get Lone Survivor because, you know, every f oh my god, every f other game it's ridiculous. I could read the list of games, but I'd be here all night. Way to insult a kind-hearted soul, you bastard. Hey, I said he was awesome. I just, I, it blew my mind. I can't believe someone would do that. Alright, uh, anyway. Uh, this is the Binding of Isaac. I have beaten challenges one through four. And now I will attempt challenge number f five. I do actually own it according to Steam. Oh, well, that's weird. Not sure why it's not showing up here. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, Lord of the Flies. I don't know what the deal with this challenge is. I'm going to assume... Okay. I start with the mulligan. You know, that's not really much of a challenge, if that's all it is. I mean, that's more like a benefit. Uh, Mars Draconis, what's up? Galen really says, LOL, the list on my community feed page. Yes, it is a lot of games. So, Adam, if you're out there, if you're watching... 
You are an amazing person. And he picked up the slack for all the rest of you bastards who didn't buy me anything during the steam sale. Kidding! I'm just kidding. I love all of you. Even the ones who don't buy me things. LOL. Oh, Missy Shay, what's up? Haven't seen you in at least a fortnight. Possibly more than a fortnight. Because I'm not exactly sure how long a fortnight is. It's two weeks, right? For some reason, I want to think of Fortnite as 20 of something. Like 20 days. But no, that's not right. Uh, Bob's head. This thing's pretty cool. Hit space to use it, then you throw it at people, and it might poison them. Okay, apparently I do have Lone Survivor. It's just it's not in the little list I have pulled up here. Oh well. Awesome, I got Lone Survivor too. There's got to be some kind of other layer to this. Seems too easy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, the mulligan is like a really cool item, and it's weird that, uh, weird that that's all the challenge would be. Maybe like all the bosses are going to be fly themed or something. Like I have to fight every version of the Duke of Flies, and I have to fight. Uh, oh God, what's that thing called? It's like the Duke of Flies, but worse. Uh, you know, there's a good chance there's a secret room right here. Okay. A good chance, but not a 100% chance. Did you buy me Dark Souls, Borderlands 2 and shit too? Yeah. All the pre-orders I had on there as well. Borderlands 2, Dark Souls, Darksiders 2, and Torchlight 2. <laughs> Just drop says, see me next month. No? Not, uh, not a fly-themed boss. Yes, the husk is the name of the uh, the one that's similar to uh, the Duke of Flies. You know, I really hope I get technology on this playthrough. Because technology plus the mulligan, it's freaking awesome. Probably the best combo in the game next to uh, the Book of Revelation and the Habit. Of course, that combo I got last time was pretty good too. The Cyclops Eye and the uh, and Cupid's Arrow, uh, the PK and Rezo Nine. Welcome. The Doctor Fetus one is easier. Yeah, a lot of these ch these challenges don't really seem to be that terribly difficult. Um, each one, I pretty much only had to attempt once. Maybe that's your challenge. No other weaponry. Oh uh, yeah, it's possible. Hmm. Actually, there, there wasn't an item room on that last level, was there? I got, I got the Bob's head thing from fighting, uh, from fighting what's his name? Uh, Wild Eagle 1222, welcome. Some are pretty difficult, like Purity. Yeah, I heard about Purity, that's one where you don't get any items at all, right? I don't know if I want to be able to do that. Okay, so yeah, the challenge of this challenge is no item rooms. Well, that makes things a lot more complicated. Totally forgot to use Bob's head on that boss. You need the poop to win. Well, I certainly hope not. So yeah, how have you guys been? I have no other announcements since the previous stream. Um, I posted the announcement for the Hangout on Friday, and I hope to see as many of you there as possible. I know a lot of the uh, European viewers are going to have trouble because of the whole time zone thing, but hopefully since it's a Friday, you know, you might be able to stay up a little later than usual and at least see, at least see the race. Because the race itself is probably only going to take like an hour, maybe two hours max. But then I figure, you know, the, as many people who can will hang out and you know, shoot the shit after that. 
Gonna run through it a couple times tonight. I need to practice. What? That wasn't part of the deal. You guys don't get to practice. Oh, and also no safe stating or frame skipping or anything like that. You guys are gonna be on the honor system. I'm from the UK, it's only 12 a.m. Well, you know, to some people, 12 a.m. is pretty late. I forget which pipes to take. Yeah, I don't remember where any of the uh, the warp zones are. Well, I missed. Oh well. It's nice while it lasted. Hey, an eternal heart. That's pretty good. Dog food. Hmm. Well, two hearts. And I can get the, uh, the beam thingy. Man, I wonder how well that stacks with the mulligan. Or if it stacks at all. And it's tempting. Man, my memory shot to shit tonight. I can't rem remember what that stupid thing's called. Brimstone, yes. Thank you. Not well, Brimstone is only like two hits. Yeah, I, I figured that was probably the case. Alright. Uh, no deal, devil. You can't have my soul today. It's nowhere near as good as technology, yeah. Yep. Indeed. Wow, Curse of Darkness again? That sucks. Ooh, this room is not gonna be fun. Okay, well that could have gone much, much worse. Well hey, at least I don't really have to worry about collecting keys, since there are no item rooms. I mean, there are shops, I guess I can check those out. Actually, I should, I should have gone in the shop on the last level. I only had four coins, but there might have been something worth buying. Hmm. Well, I could buy a soul heart. I think I might wait and see if I can get 15 so I can get mom's, uh, or the satchel or the purse or whatever. The thing that lets you hold an extra trinket. Uh, into zone 123, welcome. I didn't see your name pop up in the, uh, oh, there it is. Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Duke. This is The Binding of Isaac, a video game for the home computer entertainment system. Which is what I call computers. Have I heard of the game Awesome Knots? I've heard of it. It's one of those MOBAs, isn't it? One of those Dota League of Legends type games, but it's like 2D. Yeah, I've never really been much of a MOBA player. I've never really given them a shot since I've never seen one that's not multiplayer and I'm just not much of a multiplayer gamer in general. I have beat the chest with almost every character. Well, I haven't, so no, no spoilers, please. I mean, it's bad enough that I know that the chest exists. But I don't know what it what it entails, so it'll at least still be a surprise to me. All right, uh, I guess I'll pick that up, and I'll pick that up. Strength, not bad. And I'll put the other two into the uh, fortune telling machine thingy. Uh, crystal ball. That's supposed to be good, isn't it? It's an activated item. Is it better than Bob's head? I'll try it out and see what it does. You can play League of Legends Dota 2 with bots for practice, so it's a single player style. See, I, I, I was never sure if uh, the games had bots or not. Uh, well, it spawned a soul heart, so it's at least as good as the Book of Revelation.
Does it do anything else besides that? Or is it like a random pickup kind of deal? Ow, damn it. Man, this is a hardcore boss for the freaking catacombs. I usually don't see this guy until way later. I like the little face thingy on the crystal ball. It's like my destiny is staring me in the face. The conical, that's actually pretty good. Uh, Hargafall, welcome. Much better than Bob's head, it gives you random things and reveals the whole map. Ooh. Full map reveal plus item drop. And drops a spirit heart or tarot card. Hello, I'm new here. Oh, well, welcome, Hargafall. My name's Duke, and I like the Binding of Isaac. My Isaac is going to explode. Yes, probably. Uh, alright, well, nothing else to do on this floor. I like the common cold better than any of the other uh, poison items. Because it seems like with all the other poison items, you have to actually touch the enemies. Aw. I should have tried to get them to blow this open so I can get that chest. But uh, with most of the poison items, you have to actually touch the enemies. And with this, it's just uh, an effect added to your, uh, to your normal shot. Wow, this was a pretty crappy room. Ooh, the Joker, eh? I like the sound of that. And I picked up the stars at some point too. I wonder what happens when you use the stars and there's no item room. Alright, well I'll do this first and see what I get. Haha, <laughs> excellent. I have been blessed. Alright, now I will try the stars and see what happens. Maybe it will take me to I am error by default. Nope. Just the pain room. It acts like a full card, as I recall. Stars give you just a random room. No, stars is supposed to be the item room. But because of the challenge I'm playing, there is no item room. So, I guess it's random in that case. I think I actually have the effects of every card memorized now. I'm pretty sure there are no tarot cards that I'm not sure about. I'm subbed to you, but I haven't watched the streams yet. Well, hold on to your ass, mister, because you are in for a ride. Let me tell you what, mister or, uh, or ma'am. Hey. Thanks for the secret room, suckers. Ooh. The onk. Uh, if you use the Ankh, then, uh, well, if you pick it up, then when you die, you become resurrected as the blue baby. Awesome. What is my absolute favorite item in the game? Um... Man, if I had to choose just one, it would probably be, uh, Technology 2. I really hate these guys. I have to be careful, I'm down to half a heart. I'm going ahead and use that now, just to be safe. I don't know though. I mean, technology too is really cool, but uh, I mean, by itself, by itself, it's hard to uh, it's hard to call any item in the game my number one favorite because you know part of me wants to choose something that'll let me fly, like Spirit of the Night, 
But then part of me wants to choose a healing item like the Book of Revelation. Uh, Taiyu, Taiyu, welcome. Yeah, Moore's Dragon says by itself is not that great. Dr. Fetus is really good, but I've only gotten it once. Man, it's, it's hard to choose. I might, I might have to go with Spirit of the Night. Because it lets you fly and it gives you uh, Spectral Tears. So, two great tastes that taste great together. Um, Merkwirdrich, welcome. Merkwirdrich. Head to the Bloody Sword while I, while I still have one heart. Yeah, but then I'll have to do a super tough challenge room thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's really hard to pick just one item. Damn it! Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, the left hand. I'm not sure what that one does. What is my favorite combo of two items? Uh, definitely the Book of Revelations and the Habit. Because it makes you essentially invulnerable until you get to uh, the womb. And if not that, then Technology 2 and the Mulligan. Those are both amazing combinations. Uh, Raziel391, welcome. Oh, it turns all chests into red chests? Wow, that sucks. Alright, Darian Mass told me to go into the challenge room, so it's his fault if I die. Ah, uh, man, is that worth it? Well, it's probably just gonna be like Monstro and Leary Jr., so I should be okay. Hi, Monstro. I thought I'd see you here. I'm not sure how good the Cat of Nine Tails actually is. Because it doesn't increase your shot speed, it physically makes your tears travel faster. Like they travel faster from point A to point B, if you know what I mean. Which I guess is useful. It's more useful if your actual shot speed is high as well, though. Okay, well, free half a heart, why not? Uh, to Minecrafter1, welcome. Odin337, welcome. No, 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 it's bad. What's bad, the left hand? What's well, too late now? Oh, it makes gold chests red chests as well, yeah. Technology 2 and Mom's Contacts is also pretty boss, yeah? That is, uh, uh, that is an amazing combination. I don't think I've ever, I've ever actually gotten it, but I know what would happen. You one Bomb says the left hand doesn't make gold chests red. So, I don't know who to believe. According to the wiki, it does. Yeah, but the wiki is not always 100% accurate. The hollow. I actually have more trouble with this guy than I do Larry Jr., and I don't know why. Because technically, he should be more predictable. It always seems like I end up taking damage when I fight him, though. However, the, the nice thing about the hollow and Larry Jr is that they have multiple body segments for you to poison. Uh, Rats Deezer, welcome. Well, a whole bunch of pills and I have no idea what any of them do. Telepills, okay. I can dig it. Speed down. Aww. 
pretty fly. For a white guy. Alright, I'll hang on to the telepills, I guess. In case there's a room I need to escape. Aw, oh, man. <sighs> I hate these things. Especially when I don't have any kind of penetrating shot. Ah! I walked right into that fire. However, the nice thing is that I can poison them whether I shoot them in the back or not. So even if I shoot them in the face, they still get the effects of poison. Which will be nice if I have to fight um, the Mask of, of Infamy again. Because I'll actually have a method of doing damage to him. Unlike the last time I fought him. I've gotten better at dealing with these guys, but I'd still rather not have to. No, oh, two coins I am not getting. Duke, would I ever do a Let's Play Sims 3? Nope. I didn't even care that much for the first Sims. Oh my god. I don't know how I let that happen to me. You can't even Let's Play the Sims, really. I mean, there's no goal. I pretty much played The Sims until my family was completely self-sufficient, and then I saw no further reason to play it after that. I don't know, maybe they added goals in some of these newfangled Sims games. The only Sims I like are the city and, to a lesser extent, the farm. Wish I still had my telepills. I've never really been uh, much of a Sims player, f for some reason. <laughs> I got a group hug, yes, indeed. I thought video games were made to get away from reality, not simulate reality. Well, I mean, you know, simulations have their purpose. Um, you've got to be kidding me. But, uh, I don't know. It's not really what I'm into. I don't really care about this whole virtual reality trend either. Like, the stuff that John Carmack is working on is cool. But I just can't see myself ever actually playing a video game that way. Damn! Oh well. I'm the blue baby now. Wonder if I still have yeah, I still have my uh the scapular and the uh the poison shots. I should probably just go straight to the boss since I know where he is. What's my least favorite item? Uh the kamikaze, I guess. Or the poop. I'm not sure which I would rather have the least. I don't, know if, I don't know if that sentence is grammatically correct. I don't know which I would rather have the least. Hmm. But yeah, one of those two. Also, when you shoot these things in the face, I think it still spawns flies. Yeah, it does. So that's another way you can deal damage to them without having to hit them in the back. I like the poop better than kamikaze. Yeah, me too, I guess. I mean, I, I guess I can theoretically see a uh, see a time where I would use a kamikaze to get into a secret room or something. But it hasn't happened yet. You know, it would have to be a situation where I have a ton of health. And, uh, and I have a kamikaze. 
which isn't very likely. I wonder if you can pick up heart containers now. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it works exactly like the blue baby if you actually start as the blue baby. During your Splunky stream, you said that you've bought Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Have I given a, tr a try? It's such an awesome game. No, I haven't bought I haven't bought any of the games from the Steam sale, or I haven't played any of the games I bought during the Steam sale yet. Oh, except for Half Life Two Episode Two. That's the only one. I haven't tried any new games though. I really should, especially now that I have a fistful of new games. Suddenly. I really need to uh, work on my backlog. I don't know. I just uh, I really got on the uh, on a first-person shooter tear there for a while. I played uh, Half-Life 2, episodes one and two, and I played through Hard Reset. So that's kind of uh, kind of been what I've been, what I've been into lately. Have I ever played Dungeon Defenders? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't really see the appeal, but I didn't really play it that long either. So uh, it's possible I just didn't play it long enough to uh, to get it. Wow, look at how fast this guy is. Damn. Things do not look good for Isaac. Kind of wish I got a soul heart there instead of the devil. When I used uh, when I used the uh, crystal ball last time. Ah! Damn it! Oh well. Duke, I have dungeon defenders. You could play with me, and I could help you level. See, uh, that's not really. That's kind of my problem with these kinds of games, like. You, you kind of have to start out as the same level as whoever you're playing with. Like, you have to start playing at the same time as them. Otherwise, they're just going to, you know, be overpowered compared to you. And, you know, because I played a little bit with Morse. And, I mean, I saw the appeal, but he already knew all about the game and, you know, what all the best strategies were and stuff. So, I was pretty much doing what he was telling me to. Which is the same experience I had with uh, with World of Warcraft, the, sh the tiny amount of time that I tried that game. It was pretty much just the other guys telling me what to do, because they knew what to do and I didn't. Which, you know, I mean, it's not their fault. It's just, it's just how it worked out. And that's not, uh, it's not really my jam. Now what I do like, uh, Morris and I, uh, we play Portal 2. A game that neither of us had ever played. You know, we were both starting from totally equal footing, and uh, figuring that game out together was awesome. And uh, we had the same experience with Borderlands and uh, and uh, Trenched, both really awesome co-op games that we both started at exactly the same time. So, you know, we were both coming from the same place. Duke, have you seen I Am Legend? Yeah, I saw it. It was okay. I thought the uh, the CGI monster thing looked really dumb. But I mean, it was a pretty good version of the uh, the Omega Man story. Man, there are really no movies coming out anytime soon that I'm really interested in. I'm trying to think. I do kind of want to see The Expendables 2. Because apparently there's a trailer for the movie where somebody stabs somebody. And he says, I now pr pronounce you man and knife. So, you know, that alone is a pretty good reason to see a movie. Ah, 
this is why I'm surprised I stuck with TF2 for as long as I did. Yeah, that's another game I just can't get into because of the multiplayer aspect. Like, I tried jumping into a server of people that I kind of know, people who post on a, a message board that I post on. You know, my first time ever playing the game, there's no single player mode, so I didn't really know what I was doing. So uh, I picked the scout class, you know, he's fast, he's, uh, you know, he's not really an attack class, he's more of a, uh, you know, his goal is to capture the points. So I was playing as a scout, and uh, I was red, and uh, I saw a blue point, a uh, capture point that was wide open, completely unprotected. So I was like, hells yeah, and I started capturing it. But then for some reason my teammates told me, no, don't capture that yet, you're not supposed to capture that. And I'm like, what the fuck, why not? What am I supposed to do then? And uh, yeah, I, pr I pretty much quit after that. I mean, I, I asked them why and they couldn't really give me a good answer. They were like, you know, wait until something, such and such event happens, but... I didn't know what they were talking about. Uh, Commander Metal, welcome to the stream. Did I just say there's no single player because that's not right? Well, at the time I tried it, it was a few years ago. There was no single player mode that I could tell. I mean, maybe that's changed, but if there was a single player mode, when I played it, it wasn't very obvious. They just wanted more gameplay. See, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, the object of the game is to capture the other team's points. So if I'm not doing that, then what am I doing? I mean, maybe they just wanted to get more kills before the match was over or something? Maybe their kill percentages weren't high enough, but... You know, that's, that's not my problem. But you know, I, I don't understand any of those team shooter games. Like, I've tried to watch people play uh, Battlefield. And I had no fucking idea what's going on. I don't even know how people can tell wh who they're supposed to shoot. I mean, at least in Red, or Red vs. Blue, at least in Team Fortress 2, it's pretty obvious. Because, you know, you're supposed to shoot whichever people are the opposite color of you. But then, I don't know. <laughs> no, the object of the game is hats. Yeah, apparently. I guess I just didn't have enough hats. They just wanted to murder more things, I guess. Yeah, probably. This is exactly why I prefer playing GG2 more than TF2. I don't know what GG2 is. You know, I don't know why I keep exploring these dungeons after I locate the boss room. Because it's not like there's going to be an item room for me to find. I mean, I guess I do have nine coins, so I might as well try to find the item shop first. I see Steam recut the Meet the Heavy trailer for the modern era. In each shot, he wears, he wears progressively more and more hats. It's hilarious. Yeah, I really love, you know, Valve, everything Valve does, and I love their little... You know, meet the so-and-so videos. I just don't understand the game. Uh, AZ Static, welcome. How are you? Gang Garrison 2. Oh yeah, I heard of that. It's one of those demakes, right? Where someone takes a popular game and makes it in the style of an old console or computer. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Ow, damn. That's kind of a lot of damage, bro. Uh, Dinostra, welcome. Huh, interesting. Well, I can get Spirit of the Knife for two hearts. Is it worth it? I think it kind of is. I'm going to go for it. Duke, so no hangout today. Uh, no, the hangout's tomorrow. 
7 p.m. Eastern Time. 2300 UTC. Greed. Oh, wow. I am surprised. Huh, that's weird. The pill I got is different than what the pill looked like. Tears up, hey! I'm glad it wasn't bad trip or something because then I would have died. A horrible, horrible death. You can fly, stop moving around the bricks. Force to have it, sorry. The secret room is left of the spike room. What, here? I don't see how you can possibly know that. Nope. Incorrect. Or by spike room did you mean the other room? Uh, Ultra Kirby 64, welcome. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I know how you knew that. Well, no need for me to buy the ladder now that I can fly. What challenge is this? Uh, this would be... Uh, Lord of the Flies. You start with the mulligan, but there are no item rooms. I guess I can pick up a key, just in case I need one later on. They're almost always next to the special rooms. I don't know though, because I try next to the special rooms all the time, and I'm not always successful. Alright, well, I only have one heart, but I have five flies. It's gotta make up for something, right? Hey! I have flies too. Check out my flies, Al. It's not a, uh, not a friendly version of Duke of Flies. Hey, I'm the Duke of Flies too. Because I'm Duke and I have flies, get it? It's like a thing. Ah, damn. They kind of cornered me. Have I beaten the cathedral? Yeah, with Isaac and Cain. But that's it. Kind of wish I did that on stream. But I'll, I'll try to do the rest of them on stream. Hmm, interesting. I tell you what, Mulligan is pretty good, but it doesn't make up for not having any item rooms. I beat it as as as, as XXX yesterday. Yeah, I've beaten uh, Mom's Heart and Sheol, but not. Uh, not the cathedral with the blue baby yet. Duke, what's my least favorite boss? Um, probably either the bloat or Daddy Long Legs. Thankfully, I've only encountered both of those bosses once, but I do not like either of them at all. Yeah, I died. Sorry, Tiffanes. They don't call it a challenge because it's a day at the amusement park. I almost died because I celebrated and the cherubs were still firing at me. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those cherubs. They look innocent. I've hated cherubs ever since uh, the end of Cave Story. The hell level. Oh, how I despise cherubs. They have the angel baby things. Now, that would explain why you don't get, like, daddy long legs. He gets easier when you know how he works. Yeah, all, all the bosses 
are kind of like that. Like originally, I really hated the Blighted Ovum. Like the Blighted Ovum was my least favorite boss for a while. And then uh, I, p I played against him enough times just to understand how he works. And now, I don't really have an issue with him. I say probably... I mean, one of my least favorite bosses is probably always going to be the Mask of Infamy. Infamy. Because even after you know how he works, it's still a total pain in the ass. If you don't have any kind of uh, lasers or anything. Hey, the moon. I like the moon. It's close to me. Uh, Highwayman Joe, welcome. You're just in time for an awesome stream. Well, okay, you're about an hour late, but I still have about an hour in me. Well, 45 minutes, let's say. The Mask of Infamy replaces Daddy Long Lace. You can still get Daddy Long Lace. Well, I don't know which I would rather have the least. I've definitely gotten Mask of Infamy way more times than Daddy Long Legs. I now have 25 keys. Well, aren't you special? No, I think I had close to that in uh, the last stream at one point. Because I had the uh, the flat penny and uh, the money bag, so I was constantly generating coins and therefore pennies. Alright, well, uh, I do have 15 coins though. I might as well look for the item shot. Every time I say that, I end up screwing myself. I go looking for the item shop and I get killed. Hey, I can get this now. Hmm. Hey, I made a profit of exactly one cent on that transaction. Flies versus spiders. Flies win. Ah. <sighs> you could say that wasn't friendly fire. But um Hey. Range up. If you look at the back of the Mask of Infamy, you can see a face poking out. Yeah, it looks like uh, Isaac's face. What's the best playthrough I've had? Oh, man. The last one was pretty damn good. When I beat challenge number four. But the best playthrough I've had is probably... Uh, well, there was this one where I beat Sheol. I went into the devil with half a heart and a soul heart left. That's it. And I lost a soul heart. I had half a heart left. And I beat the devil. I was pretty damn proud of that one. I'll pick that up. It's better than, uh... It's not as good as Flight, but it's better than nothing. What makes the playthrough best? Well, I consider that playthrough my best because, uh... Because of how awesome I did against Satan. You know, I, I did really well in the face of adversity. By best, I mean where you get just possibly the best items. Uh, well, there was the, uh, the Cyclops plus Cupid's Arrow one. That one was really good. And there was one where I had, uh, my shot speed all the way up. And I have cancer. So, you know, multiply the max shot speed by two. And I was playing as Samson. So, uh, I had Bloodlust as well. That was a pretty great playthrough. That's the one where I actually beat Mom's heart as Samson. And, uh, you know, there's, I've had a, a couple ones where I've gotten Technology 2 and the Mulligan. And there was one where I had the Battery, the Habit, and, uh, 
the book of revelation that one was pretty good too but yeah the, the, the playthrough I'm proudest of though is the one where I beat Satan with half a heart left my heart was pounding after that let me tell you it was exhilarating I like the box. Temperance. Uh, sure, why not? Aw, oh, the blood one. Tears down. Ugh. Liberty cap. That gives you a random uh, mushroom effect in every room. Slashy, welcome. Polyphemus with attack speed is an awesome combo. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever actually gotten that combo, but... That would be awesome. <laughs> you remember when every game made you feel like that at the end? You get all happy and excited and oh my god. Oh yeah, I definitely remember the first time I beat Mom. The first time I beat Mom's heart. The first time I beat Satan. And the first time I, be I beat Isaac. Those were all very exciting events. Well, actually, I mean, at the beginning, every time I made it to the next level, it was pretty damn exciting. Ah, damn it. So, uh, for any new people who happen to be in the chat room, hi, my name is Duke, and I play all kinds of video games. Lately, it's been mostly The Binding of Isaac, but I play old games, I play new games, I play games everyone has heard of. I play games no one's ever heard of. If you like the stream, please follow me, blah blah blah. Twitch, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, add me on Google Plus if you want to be part of the uh, Google Hangout tomorrow night. First time I beat Sheol, I found it on accident and I beat it with half a heart like you did. Yeah, the first time I got to Sheol, uh, it was an accident, but I sure as heck didn't beat it. Am I still on SA? I still have an account. Um, I don't really post there anymore. Pretty much the only thing I use it for at this point is uh, SA Mart. Duke is the reason I bought Binding of Isaac. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've sold at least five or six copies of this game. Or helped sell. I will play Isaac, but I need a better computer. Wow. Your computer must be uh, a Windows 98. Gateway 2000 Pendium 2 because it does not take a very good computer to play this game. That sucks though. I hope you can uh, you can upgrade. My first computer was a uh, Windows 98 Compaq. I think it was a Presario. Was that the desktop? It had uh, 64 megs of RAM and a 2 gig hard drive. Uh, Kalash239, welcome. Duke is going to be the reason I buy. Awesome. I should be getting commission for this stuff. So whoever had the bad PC just play the game on low. Yeah, I mean if you haven't tried it already, I mean that's what I would do. Play it on low at the lowest uh, resolution possible. Winner of the race tomorrow gets a free fifteen dollars or less game of their choice. Says Morris Draconis. Huh, oh, that's a verbal contract. That's binding. Of course, you know. He is completely confident that he will win, so it's really, it's really not a wager at all. I wouldn't have said it if I didn't mean it. Yep, we have it on film. For posterity. It's recorded for all eternity. No backing out now. What exactly is a race? Uh, it is Super Mario Brothers for the NES. It is going to be a Google Hangout tomorrow uh, at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 2300 UTC. 
if you want to participate or watch just uh, add me on Google Plus or just send me a message asking me to add you and I will add you to my circle and you will be invited uh, Derelix welcome pretty cool name your name pleases me uh, oh yeah uh, Darian Mask has copies of the Binding of Isaac to give away so if anyone is watching wants one uh, pounce on it alright see you later Jack Burton thanks for coming you know what I am just going to go to the boss because there's not going to be anything else interesting on this level Hey, Fistula. Haven't gotten this thing in a while. Uh, the GTF, welcome. Oh, cool. My, uh, the effect of the Liberty Cap in this room is, uh, the odd mushroom that makes my shot speed super fast. That is pretty nice. And it stacks pr pretty well with the mulligan, too. I wish I had this one all the time. Man, everyone is just being so generous today. The dude gave me a bunch of games. Morris Draconis is going to give someone a prize. Darian Mask has free copies of The Binding of Isaac. Ooh! It's a god room. Or an angel room. It's the Bible. I'm going to kill mom with the Bible. How do I see so well when people enter the chat? Am I connected through IRC or what? Well, technically everyone's connected through IRC. Even the uh, even the chat on the website connects through IRC. But I'm using a dedicated IRC client to connect to the chat room. It's called XChat. Or technically YChat because it's the Windows version. I'm winning so no one gets surprised, says Morse Draconis. You selfish prick. I mean... Hi. Uh, the IRC server, well, the channel is hashtag Duke of the Bump. And let me look up the uh, th the thing again. Hold on. Uh, Duke of the Bump dot JTV IRC dot com. That's JTV as in Justin TV. Duke of the Bump dot JTV IRC dot com. And as the server password, you have to put whatever your password is for your username. In order to connect. <laughs> Just Drop says, when I laugh so hard if it comes in last. Ooh, that sounds like a challenge. We have the first official rivalry of the race. Just Drop versus Boris Draconis. Who is going to take home the gold? God, the splash damage on those things is so fucking high. You know what? I think you should vomit right on top of this chest right where the chest is thank you you have pleased me technically so what does the bible do besides kill mom instantly it does something else right oh yeah it lets you fly for a room wow that's actually pretty good This is why you should read your Bible, kids. It will give you the ability to commit matricide and the ability to fly. It's all in there. Jesus said so. Uh, well, I can see the map because of the, the Liberty Cap. The, sh the item shop is way over there. I think I'm done. I think I'm ready to... Well, I guess I could charge up the Bible first. Ooh, I could charge up the Bible and use it in this room so I can get, get those pills. I don't know how many uh, charges the Bible takes, though. Probably six. It is a pretty good item. Uh, no. Looks like it's only going to be three. That's pretty good. Okay. I have a reason to explore a little bit more. 
There's plenty of other items that let you fly all the time or more frequently. Well, yeah, but any flight is good. Any amount of flight. And plus, the items that let you fly permanently seem seem like they're a lot more rare than, than they used to be. Duke, make sure it's charged when you fight Mom. Oh, I will. Of course, I still have a pretty good bit before I have to worry about that. Haha, ha, you guys are stuck. You can't do shit. How's it feel, huh? How's it feel? Wow, I have seven bombs. That's pretty good. Ooh, small rock. No, it's a six recharge. Uh, no, it looks like three. I mean, it's it's recharging two every time I beat a room. So that would be three rooms to recharge. Well, maybe four. Greed. Super greed. Wow. Awesome game. I love you too. Well, I don't know what my mushroom effect is doing, but it's making my shots gray. They're not spectral. I'm not sure what they what they are doing currently. Man, having attack flies of this quantity really helps. Uh, you have a blue screen of death. Welcome to the chat room. Hopefully your name is not portentous. This guy appears to have pennies on his eyes. They used to do that, do that with dead guys. Not sure why. Well, isn't it kind of like the, uh, the Egyptian thing of, of burying people with money? Like, the pennies are supposed to represent you know, give him passage on the river sticks or something like that. Pay the ferryman. Okay. Be a good pill. That's a pretty good pill. It's definitely not a bad pill. Range up. Excellent. Tears down. I don't want you. It's to pay the boat guy. Right, yeah. The ferry guy. Hey Duke, you done with LPs on YouTube now? Because it would be sweet if you did more co-op ones with Morris. Well, we're definitely going to do more co-op stuff. But if we do, it's probably going to be in stream form, not in LP form. But whatever we do, it's all going to go on YouTube anyway. Uh, Roy Symphonia and Meteorico, welcome. Is it really a big deal? Like, I have a lot of people saying that they don't like the streams and they would rather I still did LPs. But I want to teleport out, so hopefully I get an easier version of that boss. But I mean, the LPs, it's pretty much the same thing, except the LPs are split up into 10 minute chunks, where they were. I, I don't even have to do, have to do that now that I can upload unlimited I don't have a limit to the size of videos I can upload but uh, I mean this is basically an LP where I get to interact with the chat room and I put the uh, the chat room in the subtitle so you can even read that along with uh, along with the video so in my mind it's infinitely better than you know a dozen 10 minute videos a week and yet some people are still clinging desperately to that format even though they don't have to I mean I guess if you don't have a lot of time it's easier to watch you know a 10 minute video a day than it is to sit down and watch a two hour video uh... Vitaly Ibragamov, welcome I probably butchered your name I apologize 
well, excuse me for being European, says CBC Gamer. No, I mean, I, I understand your rationale, but, I mean, even you don't stick to 10-minute videos, do you? I mean, you take advantage of of having, uh, having a longer, uh, or having no limit on the size of your videos. Like, some people still post, you know, a 10-minute video every, every day. And I'm like, why? I mean, it's so awkward. You have to cut it in, like, really awkward places. It's not a natural progression. I don't know. See, to me, the 10-minute thing was always a limitation of YouTube. It wasn't a feature. Man, getting some slowdown in this room. Well, I got hurt, but I also found a secret. So I guess it evens out. How much you want to bet there's some money in this room? Uh, Parasite Omega, welcome. Ten minutes is about the average attention span of a YouTube user. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, it's not money, but it's not something I'm going to I'm going to bring with me. I guess it's because we can rewatch your awesome LPs. Like Lost Vikings LP is probably my favorite of all time on YouTube. Well, yeah, but all the streams are on YouTube as well. You can rewatch those too. Oh god. Bad room. I have a ladder though, so it's not that bad. It's not as bad as it could have been. Hey, buddy. You're being a little aggressive there. Why don't you cool your jets, mister? I think somebody needs a timeout. I'm kind of new to streaming, so do I need do I need stream programs to stream here? Uh, yeah. Um, I use a program called XSplit. There are other alternatives. Um, there's a website that tells you all the the programs you can use. XSplit is probably the best for non-professional streamers. Um. Now, the bad thing about XSplit is that the audio quality sucks unless you pay like a $3, or no, it's like a $5 for three months license fee or something like that. You can use Flash Media Encoder, but it's more difficult to set up, or at least it was when I tried. Duke, you now, Duke, you know you can stream on YouTube. Yeah, I saw something about that, but it's weird. Like, I have to do it as a hangout, but I can only invite people... I know to the hangout, I can't make it public, and like, it's like a normal hangout so they can join in with their microphone and their webcam as well. Oh yeah, 15 for 3 months. Yeah, that's a little pricey. YouTube streaming is miles behind compared to Twitch though. Yeah, I, I really love Twitch. It's a really cool website. Much better than the old days when we had to use Ustream. And there were freaking full screen video ads like every 10 minutes. Of course, maybe Twitch does that too. I don't know. I use Adblock, so I probably wouldn't have seen any. But, I mean, this site is just better than Ustream in most regards, I think. Well, except for the occasional issues it has with its chat room. But it's much easier to get set up, in my opinion. I see full ads on some channels. I think the casters push them, though. Yeah, I, I know you can opt in to streamy ads on Twitch, which some people do. Which, you know, I, I understand. Uh, I think I'm going to fight one more room so I can fly when I fight the boss. YouTube streaming is horrible or lacks so much. Well, you know, it's a relatively new feature, but... I mean, it's cool that they're doing it. Period. But 
I'm sure there's going to be some bugs they have to work out. It's the masks of less infamy. This is probably one of the more annoying enemies in the game at this point. YouTube servers are atrocious too. I mean, I, I never have any issues with normal YouTube videos, but maybe I'm just watching them at the right times. Do I need any other software to stream on Twitch? Nope. XSplit is all I use. Oh, it's this guy again. I fought him in the last stream, but I had much better stuff at that point. So hopefully this uh, this won't be too... Oh my god, this is a lot of shit. Oh Jesus. Thank God. That was kind of scary. It's a chick. Oh, well, I mean, you know, whatever. It's a thing. It's a monstrosity. It's an abomination. I love triple widow rooms. Oh my God, is that a thing? I don't want that to be a thing. <laughs> Just saying that sent a chill down my spine. Oh no. Whew. Uh, greed. Oh, uh, super greed again. Wow. I have the luck of the Irish today. I mean, what are the freaking odds, man? Oh, you know, don't give me an item shop where I can actually buy items to help me survive. No, I definitely wanted to fight Super Greeting. Oh, the quarter! Wow. I'm going to have lots of awesome stuff to buy with that, I'm sure. What a reward. Bad trip. Oh, awesome. I'm down to half a heart. Just like that. <sighs> I love the Binding of Isaac. No, that's not a general statement, although it is true. That's the name of someone who just came into the chat room. I agree. Oh, here we go. That's something I can fruitless- <laughs> Hmm. I don't know, uh, I don't know why that happened. I didn't mean to wa walk into the spikes. I came at a wrong time? Oh no. You came at exactly the right time. Well. You know, I don't know why having spider webs on the floor slows down shots flying above it. <laughs> Thank you very much for the free pick-me-up there, Duke. Yes! 
Yes, my misfortune is your amusement. Welcome to Duke of the Schadenfreude. I'm Duke. Watch me suffer. Well, I guess this is what I get for getting cocky after I breeze through the last few challenges with relatively little incident. <sighs> Get the blue rock. Was there a blue rock that I missed? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. See you later, Morris. Oh, is CPC Gamer leaving too? Well, if so, you know, good luck. I hope things pick up for you. I feel bad boasting about my awesome fortune. Well, CPC Gamer is not doing too well. Duke, would you attempt I Want to Be the Guy? Yeah, I played it. I beat it. Years and years ago. I would never attempt it on stream. That's not going to be enjoyable for anybody. Anarchist Cookbook, eh? Okay, see you later, CPC Gamer. Have you seen I Want to Be the Guy Gaiden? Yeah, I saw videos of it. Not really that interested in uh, going through that kind of experience again. I'm surprised that the dude actually went back and revisited the I want to be the guy thing. I didn't think he ever would. Am I famous? No, 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 no. Ultra J Man's vids were painful. You know, fun fact I was actually the one who uh, suggested that Ultra J Man LP. I want to be the guy. And, you know, he pretty much blew up after that. So, in a way, I'm responsible for Ultra J Man's success. It was all me. I am the mastermind. Uh, Mayushi and Aegis Draken, welcome. Apologies if I am mispronouncing anything. A lot, a lot of these words, like Aegis, I've only seen written down. I've never actually heard them pronounced, so... I think it's Aegis, but... You know, who knows. I brought that terror upon him. Yes! I'm pretty much a sadist. Who brought Splatterhouse upon you? Uh, that was, uh... That was his fault, actually. <laughs> Fun funny enough. I was uh, participating in the uh, the Halloween Splatter House extravaganza. It was me, him, and Deceased Crab. Each played a different Splatter House game. I kind of wish I got the game that Deceased Crab played because that game is called like Wanpaku Graffiti or something like that. It actually looked kind of fun. It was like a cute 2D side-scrolling platformer kind of game. The belt. Yeah, it was uh, something awful thing way back. It's 2.20 a.m. here. Wow. I don't even know what time zone that would be. The Philippines? Oh well. Anyway. Oh, Europe. Yeah, I mean, I guess... 
it's only one hour ahead of uh, of CPC Gamer, I think. And he's in England. So how about those Olympics, huh? I sure haven't been watching any of that. Apparently NBC is really, uh, really botching the US broadcast of the Olympics, though. A lot of people are really mad. I don't think I've ever watched an actual Olympic event. I don't know. I just don't care about sports and the Olympics are no exception. DC started another run of La Mulana by the way, the new PC version. Yeah, I heard about that. I don't know. I mean at least there's a point to this one. Unlike the last time he LP'd La Mulana again. Like at least now he can show off the differences between the old version and the new version, which is useful, I guess. I'd probably play the La Mulana remake if they made it easier. I don't know, I never like playing games with that required you to use a walkthrough to solve the puzzles. It's like Castlevania 2. I mean, there, there are areas in Castlevania 2 where you would have absolutely no idea what to do if you weren't using a walkthrough. It's what we used to call a Nintendo Power game. Because if you didn't have Nintendo Power, you were boned. Of course, I mean, now we have GameFAQs, so it's not like the old days where if you didn't have a magazine or something that, sh that had a walkthrough, you were completely screwed. But I just don't really like using walkthroughs when I play video games. Uh, John West, welcome. Gerpy, welcome. Wow, a lot of new faces tonight. Thank you all for, for checking it out. I am honored by your presence. Am I doing a challenge? Yes, this is challenge number five, Lord of the Flies. I have failed twice, but I have a good feeling about this run. Ooh, a Jesus room. Every time I get one of those, I'm going to call it something slightly more blasphemous. The Jesus room, the God room. I guess that's pretty much it. Health down! Ugh. Guardian Angel, faith up. Interesting. It looks like it just circles around you, hopefully blocking shots. And it increases your faith, which means, uh, I think it's the same effect as being blessed. If you get knocked down to half a heart, it gives you a free soul heart. Hey, sore thumb. Good to see you again, bro. Yep, I got cancer. It increases your shot speed. I think it doubles whatever your current shot speed is. Which is really awesome if your shot speed is, uh, is all the way up. Because it just shoots ridiculously quickly. Like, unbelievably so. Especially good when you're Samson because you have bloodlust as well. Man, full shot speed, bloodlust all the way up. You're pretty much an unstoppable killing machine. Alright, well, I have plenty of bombs and keys, so I might as well uh, check this out. Guardian Angel is twice as fast as other defense things. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. Oh man. <sighs> Alright. I guess I'll have to take these things out systematically. As opposed to, you know, everything else in the game. 
All right, you want to be a wise guy? Is that oh, you're finally joining in, huh? Wise guy number two. You can die any time now. In fact, now would be good. Oh my god, how many shots are you going to take to die? Wake up, stupid. Oh, I wish you could just bomb these things. Oh wait, does Guardian Angel actually deal damage as well? That's pretty cool. It looks like, uh... Looks like I hit that dude. Alright. The characters always look so cute once they eat lard. Uh, actually, my uh, bulk is from the mulligan. Not the, uh, I haven't gotten the lard. Unless you're just making a general uh, statement. In which case, I agree. I think the cutest power-up, though, is the speed ball. Just puts this big old smile on your face. Which is depressing because the speed ball is a mix of cocaine and heroin. But gosh darn it, that smile is just infectious. I know this might be a really tiresome question, but what's your take on Minecraft? Uh, I played it for like five hours and I was really into it and then I never played it again. That's kind of how I feel feel about all those games where there's no real goal. Like The Sims, Minecraft, Animal Crossing, all those kinds of games. I play really obsessively for a few hours and then I just never see a reason to go back to them again. I mean, apparently, the more recent Minecraft updates have added more concrete goals to the game, so there might actually be a reason for me to play it now. But, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of rather play Terraria. It's more my, uh, my style. Uh, marking LOL what? Welcome to the thing. Harvest Moon isn't too bad for that type of game. Yeah, I mean, I imagine I'd have the same trouble with Harvest Moon, though. Uh, Crossfire Loads, welcome. Wow, so many new people. I'm so excited. I'm Duke, and I like the Vidger games. Especially this one. Ah, damn it. Alright, well, I have a few coins. Let's see. Is it greed? Wow, it's actually not greed. I am in shock. You need to play with friends. Oh, Minecraft? Yeah, probably. I mean, probably most of the reason I liked Terraria more than Minecraft is uh, because I was playing with Moors and Namagen. And it was just a lot more fun co-op. Minecraft, I only tried it that one time and it was just single player. <sighs> Let's see. Who's my favorite character? Kane. No contest. Kane is by far the best character in this game. I wish I was playing as Kane right now. I mean, you wouldn't think it would make that big of a difference having a little bit of extra luck, but it totally does. And also, his starting stats are way better than Isaac's and everyone else's. Uh, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, but Nakarineri, welcome. I like Judas, I like Judas a lot, I like XXX, having every single pill not suck, yeah, it makes a pretty huge difference. Because I mean, if you have a playthrough 
where you get, you know, health down, speed down, tears down, you know, it just, you might as well just start over. Because you were just so handicapped at that point. Damn, I should have saved the cookbook for this room. These things are much harder to deal with than those stupid maggots. Health down? Why would I want another one of those? Kane's luck can be replicated by anyone else. Well, yeah, but I've never actually gotten the uh, the rabbit's foot as an actual item in the game. I don't think so. I've only started with it when I was Kane. Wow, those guys totally did a pincer attack on me. Alright, I want to go back and get a heart because they're strewn all over the place here. They have been strewn. That's because you're only playing as Kane. Well, that's not true anymore. I only played as Kane up to the point where I uh, I beat the game for the ninth time, and now I'm you know I'm going through it honestly. I'm going to try to be the game as every character. But yeah, I mean, if I had to choose which character to play, it'd be Kane every time. I wish there was something else I could pick up so I don't have to carry around this health down pill. Ha! You like how that tastes? That, my friend, is the taste of failure. It's a flavor I have known well in my day. Eat it! Eat it! Oh, or just get hit by it. Either one. It's cool. So yeah, the Olympics. Man, I bet it sucks to live in London right now. That is a good item. Uh, Polygaming, what is up? My dog. I like Isaac, he is the best. Well, okay. Now that I have the D6... I would say Isaac's as good, if not better, than Kane. Because the D6 is a game changer. It makes things so much easier, especially in the early levels. It gives you nothing but crappy items. You can switch them out for less crappy and possibly even good items. Huh. Well, if I can get 15, I am definitely going to buy the battery. I end up killing myself if I'm not Kane or Blue Baby. Why would you voluntarily play as the Blue Baby? I don't understand that at all. There is no advantage to being the Blue Baby. I mean, it's not even like Judas, where you start out with the Book of Belial. You get nothing. Another random and maybe tiresome question again. What rig am I on? Uh, it's a... Uh, it's not a brand. I, I used a company called Cyberpower, which will uh, build a computer to your specifications and ship it to you. Uh, it's a couple years old, uh, but I have an i5 processor, um, 4 gigs of RAM, I think, and my video card. Actually, I replaced my video card recently, so it's the best piece of my machine. Um, it's a GeForce. Uh, it's a GTX something or other. I don't remember the exact number, but it's pretty good. Has a gig of RAM. Um, it's like a 570 or something. That's probably way off. The Polaroid is great. I've never gotten that. Duke, I'm going to live stream a Flash game. Any suggestions? Um, I suggest Oregon Trail. O-R-G-A-N Trail. It is a parody of the classic computer game Oregon Trail, only it takes place in the 1980s and it has zombies. Or possibly the late 70s. It's a fun game to livestream because 
you have to give names to each of the members of your party and you can make their names uh, whoever the first five people who join the chat room are so you know they're really invested in the game they don't want to die or anything uh, Saya-chan and Complosature Complosature, welcome Binding of Isaac is a flash game yeah technically I mean you can do the demo of Binding of Isaac if you don't have the full game but if you don't have the full game just talk to uh, Darian Mask and he can hook you up I recommend Cunt by Edmund McMillan just kidding don't live stream that no you should it's a good game one of Edmund McMillan's finest it has the most penises and vaginas I've ever seen in any game which isn't that hard because most games I've played have zero penises and vaginas but uh shit but it's it's a pretty impressive number Jesus I should have used my cookbook here I just realized <sighs> you are trying my patience knight you are trying my patience your friends didn't take this long to die Stop turning around. You're making me very angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I might write you a strongly worded letter in which I call you a carpetbagger. Am I sure, Duke? How about make a princess? I don't know what that is. Stop talking about things that may or may not be real. I mean, if I've never heard of it, it probably doesn't exist. That's my uh, general guideline. I think more people should start using the word carpetbagger. It is a great insult that isn't offensive to anyone except for carpetbaggers. Actually, I don't even know what that really means. It's probably one of those secret racist words that absolutely nobody should say anymore. I get hit by uh, the thing that did a full heart of damage instead of just half a heart. Once a carpet bagger? Good question. Try UrbanDictionary.com. Uh, Koopy88, welcome. God, there's, uh, there's just a shitload of people. Okay, well, I have time for another attempt. At least one. Possibly more. Bummer. Yeah. I'd say I've probably been killed by those enemies. The version of these guys that spit blood and jump up into the air. I've probably been killed by more, those things more times than any other enemy. Overall. Over the course of the entire game. Uh, let's see. Well, if I put it here, I can get the bomb and blow off the blue rock. Very crafty of me. I'd link it, but I know where that'll take me. Yeah, it'll take you to an enjoyable flash game. <sighs> so I started listening to listening to this band recently. <clears throat> the name of the band is Bull of Heaven. They are an experimental drone doom noise rock band. And I discovered them by accident because I was looking at torrents on this music torrent site that I go to. And I was just curious what the largest torrent that, that the site had was. The, the largest torrent, you know, total file size on the site. And it was an album by this band. It was like... 200 gigabytes or something so I was like holy shit what the hell's going on here so uh, I checked out the band's website and uh, they're kind of 
they're kind of a joke. Like, you, you can get all of their quote unquote music for free on their website. And the thing is, some of their music is actually genuinely really good. Some of their tracks, some of their shorter tracks, I've put on my music player and I listen to them, you know, for fun. But then they have tracks that are like thousands of hours long and like they're all free on their website you know they're split up into like these 500 megabyte segments and you have to download them and piece them together but if you really wanted to you can put together these insanely long albums and the longest one that they have it's a track called in it is a single noise repeated over and over again just like do 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 just a, just an electronic noise and if you actually uncompress the full album, it's 10 billion years long. And the file size is like 20 zettabytes or something. But since it's just the same noise repeated over and over again, the uh, when you download it, the file size is only like 80k or something. It's just split up into, you know, billions and billions of files that are exactly the same thing. And theoretically, if you could uncompress and combine them all, you would have a 10 billion year long piece of quote unquote music. And I mean, at that point, they're obviously just doing it, you know, to troll people. Or, I mean, I don't, I don't even want to say to troll people. I mean, even though it's just a noise and nobody would ever actually listen to it, the fact that they've created a piece of art that's longer than the age of the universe. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know, obviously they just use, you know, digital trickery to pull it off. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, they have other albums that are weeks long, other albums that are, you know, a few days long, and you can get, uh, excerpts of some of the albums. So far, the best tracks I've found by them are usually in the 15 to 30 minute range, but, you know... I like that kind of music in the first place. Like I'm a, uh, I like drone and doom metal kind of music. Uh, I, I understand it wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea. And then they have other tracks that are infinitely long. It's just a flash file that uses, you know, an algorithm to generate music, and it just plays forever. Of course, it's not very good music. It's kind of random and. You know, it's not something I would actually sit down and listen to. But yeah, check them out. Bullofheaven.com uh, The tracks that I recommend the most... Um, there's one called 80,000 Species of Mischievous Sprites, which is really cool. I forget what number it is. And then there's one called Super String Theory Verified, which is really cool. Those are the two pieces that I've been listening to the most. And today, I was listening to an hour and a half long excerpt of one of their thousand hour tracks. And, uh... It was very difficult to listen to. It was pretty much the same minimalist beat over and over again for like an hour and a half. And it just, it did not change at all. Duke, have I listened to Swallow the Sun? Uh, no. I've listened to A Swarm of the Sun. That band is really cool. Uh, Crossfire Lows, welcome. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up because it's interesting. Like, the 10 billion year long song, according to their Facebook, they hinted that there's an Easter egg in there somewhere. And it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know that curiosity game that Peter Molyneux is supposedly making? It's like... Each player has a chisel that they chip away at this box with. A piece at a time. And there are just thousands and, th thousands, and thousands of pieces of this box. And then whoever chips away the last piece of the box supposedly wins some kind of fabulous prize. You know, who knows what it could possibly be, but that's the premise of it. And you can pay to have a chisel that can chip away more of the box than normal for a temporary amount of time. And I think the best chisel you can get costs like $10,000 or something. And it chips away like a quarter of the box. I don't know if this game is actually going to materialize as something real. 
It was just another one of Peter Molyneux's like crazy ideas. But it kind of reminds me of that. Like it's stupid and it's crazy, but it's kind of interesting. Like how many people would it take sifting through a 10 billion year long piece of noise to find the hidden Easter egg? I don't know. It, it's interesting. But yeah, I mean, the fact that they give all their music away for free is pretty cool, too. Well, their music and their quote-unquote music. Uh, Pinfeldorf, welcome to the chat room. Yes, this is Lord of the Flies. Explosions in the Sky, yep, I like them. They're pretty cool. My favorite band, uh, I mean, they're post-rock. My favorite post-rock post band is still Godspeed You Black Emperor. They have like kind of noise rock influences, they kind of have drone influences in there in some of their music. I haven't found another band I like as much as them. Swallow the Sun is Death Doom Metal, just let you know, not sure if that's your cup of tea. I've actually been looking for more, well, I don't really like death metal. I mean if it's instrumental, I'll probably give it a shot, but I don't really like the singing style of most death metal. But Doom, I can totally get behind. But yeah, if anyone has any suggestions for instrumental Doom, drone, uh, noise, post-rock kind of bands, you know, let me know. Because I've really been, uh, really had a hankering for that kind of stuff lately. I've seen both Godspeed You Black Emperor and Explosions in the Sky live. Pretty amazing stuff. God, I wish I lived somewhere I could go to see live music. I was going to go see Godspeed You Black Emperor when they were in Washington DC several months ago, but uh, I just couldn't afford it when I factored uh, both transportation and hotel cost. Because the, the ticket was only $20, they so we were just playing in like a bar or something. But you know, I, I would have paid $100 to go see them. But counting the hotel costs and stuff, it would have ended up being like 300 bucks. And I just can't justify spending that kind of money to see a band play in a bar. Even if it is my favorite band. Well, plus I didn't have that kind of money. I mean, I probably could have pulled it off, but I would have been eating ramen noodles for the next month. Yeah, I live in the state of West Virginia in the United States of America. Not a very good location to live in if you are a fan of music. Well, if you're a fan of, of some kind of music. If you're a fan of country music, then, uh, then you're in the right place. God! That thing shot its blood at me at precarious speeds. I mean, I don't hate all country music. I found this country band recently that I really like called Bird Cloud. They're pretty cool. But, uh, they're kind of less mainstream country music. So, I doubt they would have much of a chance of getting a show here. Bluegrass is kind of cool. Yeah, I like some bluegrass. I don't really have a whole lot of exposure to it. I really like the band Crooked still. That's pretty much the only bluegrass band I can name off the top of my head. Have I played Bastion? Yeah, I love that game. I streamed it once. I'd like to stream it again, but I don't know. When you watch me stream, when you watch a stream of Bastion, like, you miss out on some of the best parts of the game, the music and the narration. Because you have my stupid voice talking over it, and I, I kind of feel like I'm not really doing the game justice that way. I mean, I guess I could do a stream where I don't talk. 
but I don't know if anyone would bother coming to that. I mean, if you just want to watch someone play Bastion without talking, I'm sure there are YouTube videos you can watch. Green! Wow. I need to start saying that every time I go into an item shop. Because the last two times I've said it, it hasn't been green. Uh, Graham 2010 version 2, welcome. But yeah, Bastion's amazing. One of my favorite games of last year. Ah, Jesus. I mean, this is my favorite game of last year, but Bastion is pretty high up there. And yeah, the soundtrack is just amazing. It is in heavy rotation on my MP3 player. The amount of greeds has been toned down a lot as of the most recent patch. Well, someone forgot to tell my copy of the game that. Because I get greed every other time, just about. Sorry, had to take a stretch. Cutest monster, fat fly. Yeah, they're pretty cute. I'm pretty partial to the maggots, though. Uh, Prophecy X01, welcome. Okay, you know what, buddy? Take that. I really don't like it when these guys are in such a difficult position. Uh, Gary Dempsey, welcome to the stream. Hmm. I had a playthrough yesterday with Max's head, Polyphemus, Mutant Spider, and Brimstone. Damn. That is a lot of good stuff. So yeah, I have a shitload of games I need to play, so I can tell if they would be good streaming games, and so I have something to talk about, and so I can clear off my backlog on, on Steam. I have, I think, well, I, I don't want to check right now, but I have, I think, over 150 games on Steam now, and I've beaten about a quarter of them. So yeah, I have a lot of work to do. Now of course some of those games aren't really beatable in the traditional sense, like, like Team Fortress 2 and stuff. But I have all my games in one of two categories, finished and unfinished. And shit! Why did that do a full heart of damage to me? Or, or, or did I have half a heart left? I thought I had a full heart. I hate it when I die and I'm not expecting it. Charging attacks always do one heart? <sighs> okay, well. It's about 9, so I guess that'll do it. Sorry, I was not successful. Um, I think we had a good time regardless, though. Saw on a lot of new people. Yeah. Uh, this has been the Binding of Isaac. I'm Duke of the Bump. Please follow, like, subscribe, support. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell your kids. Tell your wife. And, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully see you tomorrow 
7 p.m. Eastern Time, 2300 UTC, for the famous Super Mario Brothers race. Uh, if not, I will see you again on Tuesday. Later.